everyone how are you guys doing thank you so much for coming you are welcome to my channel on this channel we pray on this channel we seek for solutions on this channel we ask God to favor us and bless us so if you need such try to subscribe and turn on the bell so that you will never you will never miss a video from us again Every video from this channel is loaded with blessing and testimony. So just have faith. You will receive your heart desire. If you want God's help in any situation, you are going to pray with this psalm. If you want the Lord's help, maybe you are tired of trying to do it yourself. Because many of us, we always try to do these things ourselves. We always feel that we can be our God. And that is wrong. Try to put God first. Always know that you have a God that is willing to help you. You did not create yourself, so you cannot help yourself. Fine, you might try to work hard, but you need the Lord to help you. Except you created yourself. Then you can help yourself. As far as you did not create yourself, you cannot help yourself. Only God has the power to truly help you. So my dear brothers and sisters, if you are going through a difficult situation, if you have a problem, if you have that thing that is bothering you, if you want anything, instead of running from church to church, from pastor to pastors, you are going to pray on your knees at midnight with this powerful sound. You are going to receive your blessing. Your doors will begin to open. Your enemies shall not trample over you again. There is power in praying with Sam. There is power in praying with the words of the Lord. Because all of these things have been written down for us to receive our blessing with and to pray with. So if you are the type you have not been reading your Bible, you better start acquainting yourself with the words of the Lord. If you are looking for business growth or you want to clear your debt, do this to clear your debt. Do this to pay your rent. Your landlord will not disturb you again. Anything you want at all, you want money for a particular purpose, pray with this psalm and believe it is done. Believe it is done. And that is the first key. When you believe it is done, it will be done. But when you believe that mm, it might happen, it might not happen, it will not happen. You need loss of faith to receive your miracle. You need loss of faith to receive your breakthrough. If you are looking for a child, just pray and ask God to come and help you. Don't think that you can help yourself because you meet your spouse. Anything you do without the blessing and the help of the Lord is useless. Because you did not create yourself, you cannot help yourself. Even me, I'm just trying to preach the words of God to you. I cannot help you because I did not create you. God created you. Even me too, God created me. And I always seek from the Lord. When I have a problem, I pray to God myself. I don't run heter scatter. I don't believe that anybody, any other person have the power to pray to God to come a quick answer than myself because I have faith. The reason why your prayers are not being answered, why you feel that you are still stagnant in that situation, why you experience delay, is because you don't have faith. When you have faith, you can command quick answer. So if you have a problem or you are facing any difficult situation, you want God to help you, always pray with Psalm 54. There is power in the psalm. Read the psalm and pray with this psalm for seven days. Your life will never remain the same again. Your life will change. Let's read together. Get your Bible. Save me by your power, O God. Set me free by your might. Save me by your power. You are begging God to save you. When you read every verse, you pray on it. That is how to receive your miracle using the scripture. Oh Lord, save me by your strength. Save me 
from this difficult situation. You say these words. By your strength, free me from my problem. Free me from every captivity. Remove every problem and set back from me. Let my doors be open. Let blessing come to me. Now let's continue to verse 2. Hear my prayer, O God, and listen to my words. Can you see this? Hear my prayer. Listen to my words, Lord. I'm praying this to you. Now stop and tell God your intention. Tell God what you want. Tell God what you want him to listen to. God, I need this. God, I need that. Okay? When you are reading every verse you read, you pray on it, you stop. After praying on that verse, then you go to another verse. Read that again and pray on it. But if you get to verse 2, in this Psalm 54, stop and pray and state out your intention. Hear my prayers, O God, listen to my words. So now, state your intention, whatever you want, state it. When you are done with that, move on to verse 3. Proud men are coming to attack me. Cruel men are trying to kill me. Men who do not care about God. Stop in that and pray. Lord in heaven, every enemy stopping my breakthrough. Every evil plot to take my life, to snatch my blessing, to stop my breakthrough. Oh God in heaven, destroy them, scatter them. They will not succeed in the name of Jesus. I nullify every evil plan against my success. Whatever is holding my breakthrough, whatever is hindering my success, from now on, I scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now move to verse 4. But God is my helper. The Lord is my defender. May God use their evil to punish my enemies. He will destroy them because he is faithful. Now, you have seen here that God is your helper. And he will destroy every power holding your breakthrough. So if you are the type you don't believe in diabolical oppression, in evil powers, stopping sources, you better start because it is written in the Bible. Even Jesus Christ, when he was alive, he casted out demons. So that problem, one witch or wizard or diabolical plot might be responsible for that thing you are going through. So when you read this, you pray on it again. Lord, punish every enemy, stopping my breakthrough. Whoever has done evil to stop me from succeeding, to stop me from getting married, to stop my business from growing, to stop my progress. Father Lord, because you are faithful, destroy them. They will never succeed. Now move to verses. I will gladly offer you a sacrifice. Oh God, I will give you thanks because you are good. You have rescued me from all my troubles and I have seen my enemies defeated. Are you seeing a prayer of faith now? That is now teaching you that when you have a problem, when you are facing any difficult situation, after praying now, pray a prayer of faith. Tell God that you believe that he can do it. You have rescued me from all my problems. You have saved me. You have destroyed all my enemies. All my enemies, they have been defeated. Now that shows that you believe. After telling God you want him to do this for you, tell him or thank him. That he has already rescued you. He has come to help you. That is prayer of faith. When you pray to God and you believe that God can do it, he will do it. And you pray like that. Thank you, Lord, for rescuing me. You have rescued me from all my troubles. That is faith. And I have seen my enemies defeated. Today I pray for you. The Lord will rescue you from all your troubles. And you will see all your enemies defeated. The Lord will silence your enemies. You will receive your breakthrough. No power will be able to stop your miracle from today. No power will be able to stop your progress from today. Whatever has been hindering you, if it be your sins, you are forgiven. If it be diabolical manipulation, they are destroyed. They are defeated in the name of Jesus. So read the psalm regularly and pray on it every verse. Every verse you pray, and you will receive a speedy answer. Your doors will be opened. Have faith. This always works. It always works. It always. All you need to do to tap from the blessing. In Psalm 54, another powerful psalm. 
It's for you to have faith and believe that the Lord can do it. He can change your situation. He will turn your life around. Your life will never remain the same again. Remain blessed.